Telephone, yes, brother. Your name and your profession. Hello? Yeah. I'm uh, James Christopher Boyd. I'm, I'm still a student. Uh, my, question, my question is, um, I, uh, I, 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 want, I want to know, like, I understand, I understand the existence of the prophet, peace be, peace be upon him, but what I, what I want to ask is, uh, is, that if there, is there any other raw proof of the prophet, peace be upon him, than, uh, you know, you know in, in any other way than the Quran? And I would like to accept Islam. MashaAllah, brother said that he believes that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. He wants to know, is there any other proof in the Quran which proves Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? There are many, there are umpteen number of proofs. Not only from the Bible, as you heard me saying, I've given proof from the Hindu scriptures. Even if you read the Quran, the Quran says in Surah an kabut chapter number 29, verse number 48, that verily the messenger is an illiterate person. Otherwise, the blabbers of vanity would have doubted. That means the last and final messenger which I mentioned the prophecy in the book of Isaiah chapter 29 verse number 12 that when the book will be given to whom who is not learned and asked to read he will say, Maan Abe I am not learned. So this verse is there in the Quran in Surah an Kabut chapter 29 verse 48 that Almighty God purposely kept the last and final messenger as illiterate so that the blabbers of vanity would have doubted and said that he is written in the book. This book cannot be written by human being. In spite of that, Almighty God made the Prophet illiterate so that no one could lay an allegation. And if you read the seerah of the Prophet, the life of the Prophet, without doubt, that's the reason. He has been named, there was a person by the name of Michael H. Hart. He wrote a book on the hundred most influential people in human history. Right from Adam, peace be upon him till today. And number one, Michael Ajar being a Christian, number one he gave to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he gave his reasons. So do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, sir. Do you believe that God is one? Yes, sir. Do you believe idol worship is prohibited? Yeah, definitely. Do you believe Jesus is not God? Uh, yes, I do believe that Jesus is not God. And you believe Jesus is the messenger of God? I do believe he's the messenger of God. And you also God. believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger? Yes, sir. Brother, is there anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Are you doing out of your free will? This is out of all, all my free will. And out of your free? Out of my free will. MashaAllah. I'll just say it in Arabic and you can repeat it inshallah. Yeah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness, I bear witness that, that there is no God, there is no God but Allah, but Allah. And, and I bear witness, I bear witness that, that Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad peace, be upon him, peace be upon him is the servant, is a servant and messenger of God. MashaAllah become Muslim <laughs> and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you can do the best in this world as well as in the next life and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide all of us and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He, through you, get other people to Islam also. Yes, and I'd also like to thank uh, Sheikh Farhat al-Kindi here at the mosque for teaching me about Islam. MashaAllah, may Allah reward him too. Jazakallah, shukar. If Muslims are really believing and practicing Quran, why the genuine Muslim converts are not given born Muslim girls or boys in marriage.